Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the fourth and final week of Fall Food Friday. I'm so sad, I don't want it to be over. <laughs> but I do want to say a big thank you to Fallon over at Moss Family TV for hosting this open collaboration. This has been so much fun, you guys. Definitely go down in my description box below and check her channel out. Her family is just adorable. Also, I will leave a link for the playlist of all the other ladies sharing their Fall Food Fridays just for you. So this week, what do I have for you? Well, let's just talk about it. I've got a caramel apple crisp cookie cup recipe that I found that is amazing. That's just, that's my word of the day of my life. It was amazing. So when I first looked at this recipe, I said, girl, you ain't got time for all that. It's got a lot of ingredients. I ain't gonna lie. And if you know me, you know I don't really particularly go for recipes that have a lot of ingredients, but tried it out anyway, and I am so glad that I did, you guys. It was amazing. <laughs> so I will share the recipe link down below for you in my description box. If you decide that this is something that you wanna make, I recommend it. Southern Mama Drama, recommend it. <laughs> if this is your first time here, my name is Jennifer. I'm so happy that you stopped by. I have two little boys, eight years old and two years old. I'm a stay at home mom with them. And I share grocery hauls, meal plans, and what's for dinner videos on this channel every single week. I hope that you will subscribe and join my little family here because we'd love to have you. All right, we're gonna get on into this video, guys. Let's get to bacon. All right, so to my stand mixer here, I'm adding in one cup of butter, one cup of brown sugar, a half a cup of granulated sugar, and I'm gonna go ahead and beat that and get those ingredients all mixed together until they're light and fluffy. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add in two eggs and one teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm gonna go ahead and incorporate that as well. Next, I'm adding in one and one fourth cup of flour, one and three fourths cup of oats, this was supposed to be rolled oats, but all I had was quick oats. We're just using what we got. One teaspoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a half a teaspoon of salt. But as you'll see, I just eyeballed the salt. And we're gonna go ahead and just barely incorporate these ingredients. Alrighty, and I'm gonna go ahead and spray my muffin tin down here with some extra virgin olive oil spray. And we're gonna use the amount of a medium cookie scoop to scoop the dough into the muffin tins. So I was trying to flatten the dough down um, with the spoon here as directed by the recipe, but I'm gonna tell y'all, just use your hands, it's easier. And I learned that tip on the second set of these that I made. <laughs> So learn from my mistakes. All right, I'm gonna throw these in the oven on 350 degrees for 18 to 20 minutes. So here are some of the apples that we picked this past weekend. As you can see, my toddler has gotten a hold of them, which is why I selected these specific apples to use for this recipe. <laughs> so I am gonna go ahead and cut up these four apples. If you guys follow me over on Instagram, you will see that my family and I visited an apple orchard this past weekend. We had such an amazing time picking apples, enjoying their apple cider donuts, and just enjoying the beautiful crisp fall air. We had an amazing time. So you know I had to put these apples to good use, right? 
So the timers went off. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out of my oven here and I'm gonna use the bottom side of one of my, I call these my ketchup cups. I did spray it with a little bit of nonstick spray so they wouldn't stick there, but we're gonna go ahead and press down to make cookie cups. So now to my pan here, I'm gonna go ahead and add in two tablespoons of butter and allow that to completely melt down. And then we'll add in all of the apples that we just chopped up. We are going to allow the apples to soften just a bit before we add in the remaining ingredients. So here I'm gonna add in a fourth of a cup of brown sugar, a fourth of a cup of regular granulated sugar, a teaspoon and a half of cornstarch, a half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And we're gonna allow this to cook until it becomes soft and caramelized. And that looks about right to me. Alrighty, so the next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and add in our apple filling into each of our cookie cups. The last thing I'm gonna do here is I'm going to drizzle the top with this Hershey's caramel ice cream topping. And you guys, this was like literally the icing on the cake. It made these so amazing. Well, you guys, that is gonna wrap it up for today's Fall Food Friday. I hope you have enjoyed hanging out with me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you will subscribe and stick around. And until next time, keep them fed. Nobody that I'm on here with probably plays Fortnite. So just so you know, all these women are mamas. They're too busy to be playing yeah. Fortnite. So I made a caramel apple crisp. What is it? Caramel apple crisp cookie cups. You a caramel apple cookie crisp that you are not going. It's not caramel apple cookie crisp. It is a caramel apple cookie cup. Caramel apple. Mmm, it is a caramel apple <laughs> crisp cookie cup. There we go, we got it. I made a caramel apple crisp cookie. Oh my God. <laughs>